Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to use the Query Builder feature in Report Wizard to create our SQL query for report uh, that we are going to generate in Reporting Services. What we are going to do, we are going to understand different options uh, in the Query Builder and then uh, we are going to use a couple of tables and uh, try to join those tables in the Query Builder and then uh, we, are, we will uh, learn how to add a filter and sort the records uh, in the Query Builder and then finally we will import some SQL file that's already we have written or if there is a RDL there's a report sitting there and we can use that report to build our query now first of all let me show you a couple of tables that we are going to use here is one of the table called region and it has a region ID region just the region name and a region code the other table I have is the person so if I run this one I have a ID, sale person name, first name, last name and I have region ID. So here you guys can see that I can go ahead and if join them on region ID I can get the first name, last name and region name. So if I need to get the region or region code I can get from here by joining on region ID these both of the table. Now let's go and create our report and in the report we will uh, join uh, in by using the query builder now first of all open your SSDT SQL Server Data Tools if you are using old version you can open the bids there would be no much much difference now once uh, you are uh, in the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools go to the file and uh, go to new and uh, project here you will be selecting uh, reporting services so we have analysis, integration and reporting. So select the reporting services. We are going to create a uh, empty project here. Uh, we can start a visit from here, but I'm going to create an empty one and then create the uh, start the visit from uh, that project. Now we can give the name to this one. We can call this one SSRS project. And uh, here we need to provide the solution name. Solution can hold multiple uh, projects. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one as it is just put to SLN at the end. Now it is going to create uh, a directory here in the SSRS uh, projects uh, on the desktop. So that's fine with us. Once uh, the empty project is created, uh, we see different uh, tabs here. We have shared data sources uh, and we have shared data sets and the reports. Uh, to initiate our uh, um, report wizard we need to click on the reports and add new report so that's how we can start the wizard once the wizard is started hit next and here we have to provide the data source so data source is a connection string to the database or the any it can be Oracle SQL server so you can select different options from here in my case I'm using a Microsoft SQL server so I selected that part I'm gonna call this one sales so let's call it DS sales and you can write your connection string here or you can uh, hit edit and select the SQL server name and database name and it will generate the connection string for you so we have selected SQL server now we have to select the database in our case it is sales test the connection looks good hit ok and this is the connection string that's generated now we can go ahead and make this one as a shared so other reports can use as well in this project hit next in old videos what I had been doing I was uh, just preparing my query in the SSMS and most of the time my query was uh, selecting some of the records uh, or columns uh, and uh, we were just uh, selecting all these uh, fields and running our query making sure the fields are coming correct uh, and we took the, our query and pasted there today we are not going to take the query from SSMS and build uh, in the report builder so let's go back and say report query builder once you click on the query builder you will see different options so it is a, a editor where you can prepare your query so first of all we need to add some tables so here the very first tab is called add table so once you click here you are given some options you can add the table you can add the view you can add the functions and synonyms and here we are going to add the tables so my remember we have region table and we have a person table so I'm gonna hit on a region and click one time add so it is bringing this table right here next I'm gonna click on person and hit add 
so it brought the second table now close this uh, add table wizard or window now as we know that uh, there is a uh, one column that's matching uh, or common between two tables uh, so that's the region id so i can click here and just drag it to the other one and this will join so if you see here the query is prepared uh, here so it is saying select uh, it say doesn't say asterisk or anything from as of now but it's saying from uh, region table inner join with the person table on uh, region id so that's how the query is uh, build now we can select few of the column let's say uh, if i'm interested uh, in the sale person uh, sale person first name sale person second name or last name and this is where, where I can click uh, and uh, it will bring me if I hit uh, asterisk it will bring me all those uh, columns uh, so I'm not really interested to get everything here we have sale, uh, sale person first name last name uh, and now we want to get the region code and region from the region table so I selected those one you can see it is uh, bringing all those uh, columns next part is the group so use group uh, by if we are interested to use a group by we can go ahead and uh, do it now let me before we go ahead and uh, start using the grouping uh, here are some options that uh, we want to discuss uh, now here we have sort type so we can sort the data by ascending or descending uh, let's say i want to use uh, the sales person first name uh, let me take this one here and if i want to do ascending ordering if I will select this one and hit anywhere else uh, so it will put the order by class right here so and uh, that's where you see that uh, one uh, that that's a sort order and then uh, we want to do sale person uh, let's say region code we can select it here and we say descending so once we click on the side it put that uh, right here so it is preparing a select query for us and uh, now if we want to group by let's say if we are interested to group by by the region code or region so we hit here use region a uh, couple more things let let me go back here we missed one thing here filter so if we want to put the filter here we can filter in this case let's say if I'm interested to get the data only for region where it is Asia so I can go ahead and put it here I can say is equal to AS and once I enter it it put the where clause so if I want to do another one say is equal to EU sorry and I can put that so it is uh, now it is checking where region is equal to Asia or even uh, the uh, region is equal to EU in this case I, I I should be putting this information in the region code so it should not be in the region because region has the complete name so we can do undo you know and uh, we have option to undo again we want to do that's our choice uh, we can just delete it or cut it from here and paste it here because this is the actual column that's where we want to put the filter now this is good that's how you will be able to uh, use the filter now if you want to group by so once you hit group by here use group by then uh, it will give us option to group by now it is grouping by by everything first uh, name last name and region code and region so you can make choices if you want let's say if we have ID we are going to select the region ID here so if you see we are selecting some column it is added to the region uh, to the group by list and our filter has changed from a where class to the hamming because with the group by you will be using hamming instead of using the where now this is the, the way you will be preparing uh, your query now let's say if we want to sum of all the IDs or maybe count of all those IDs so we can go ahead and take the count so once we hit count it is going to put that as expression one and count of this so that's how you will prepare out your query next part is the verify SQL so if you want to verify SQL okay your verified is uh, SQL is verified against the data source though it, it does mean like it looks good there is no uh, seems like syntax error or anything so we are fine with that now one thing uh, if you see here the count we were taken uh, it is uh, taken as expression one so we can rename or alias this uh, uh, column we can call it uh, region uh, ID count let's say this is what I like so if I will put that here and enter and I will 
be able to make the change to the column name. The next uh, part here, we see this uh, explanation mark. You can uh, hit this one. It is run. So if you run this one, it is uh, going to show you the records here. One thing I want to tell you, if you have millions of records, uh, I recommend not run here because it does take some time. Uh, and especially this window is, I don't think so, it is a uh, build uh, like SSMS and that can handle these many records. Uh, so it will take forever, sometime it uh, maybe not responding and all those kind of things. Uh, so better off uh, if you really want to run your query, take your query and run the SSMS. So you can copy your query from here, control A, copy, and then you can go ahead and paste in the SSMS. Uh, and run your query so it's going to create the same results whatever whatever you see in that uh, window now uh, let's go and explore some other options so we have here show hide results pan if you click here so we don't see the results anymore so re-click re and bring it back and uh, if you click one more time it will go away so uh, you can uh, play with this one and next uh, we have show hide sql pan so if we do that uh, the SQL part will be gone. So you see that SQL query, that's the SQL pan. If you will uh, click here another time, it will be gone. If you click back, it will bring come come back. Next, uh, we have a show hide grid pan. So this is the grid we were talking about. And if we click here, this will be gone. So this uh, helps uh, you to maybe give you more space uh, to write your queries and uh, see the data and all those kind of thing and if you don't need this grid anymore why you need that so you can click and uh, get rid of this one and uh, the final one will be show hide the diagram pan so here is the diagram pan where we see our tables uh, and uh, the joins uh, you the when you will join them uh, it will do inner join uh, if you are not interested in inner join you can always click here and uh, change to the left join outer join or whatever you want uh, you can change it uh, uh, let's say left join if we will put the left join what happened sorry and if we run this one now nothing really happen uh, here so uh, if you will uh, hover your mouse here you will see left outer join that's how it is working it will do inner join again and uh, run the query so there are a few things uh, you need to notice uh, this uh, uh, re uh, square square that's the inner join and if you will do the left join uh, what happened uh, that shape does change so if we run this one notice that here this is a square as of now if I run this one again so this will become something a little different so that's how it will tell us okay uh, how it is left join or it is a uh, inner join so from here you can tell but you have first it is a using in the inner join by default you can change it according to your need now <laughs> video is getting lengthy but that's fine we are exploring all the different possibilities now here we have import let's say I mean, uh, I already have saved this uh, query so we have put it here we want to use it we can use it so no big deal I'm going to ex import uh, before I import let me show you this uh, edit as text so if we want to click here what happened the same query become uh, as a text and you can change it so it will uh, give you more space uh, to work on and you can go ahead and uh, write your query make changes and then uh, from here you can um uh, run it uh, verify your results uh, and then you're good so this is just uh, to get rid of that uh, all the grids uh, so if you click back all those grids will come back uh, last important thing here we have import uh, so import part uh, where you can uh, import two things uh, you have query files uh, here if you see the types uh, so it's a dot sql and comma rdl so there are two types of files you can uh, import if you have written your query by yourself uh, let's say in in my case uh, i have written a query let me go back here in ssrs uh, projects so i have written this query called the total sale so if i want to use this query i can go ahead and open it and it will open my query and this is the query i have saved there so i can run it validate it if if it is just working fine i can go ahead and use this one so uh, sometimes we write our queries uh, with multiple joins and all that uh, for our reports and we save them and we need to use them there uh, you have option to import from here you can always open your sql query with ssms or notepad or whatever you can copy 
sorry, control Z. We don't want to delete it. You can always copy and come back here and just paste it here. That will work uh, without any problem as well. So if you will uh, put your query here and uh, run it, it will refresh. But you have the option to go to import and uh, use it. Uh, one thing uh, I like about this uh, import part is the RDL. So let's say we had been creating reports so in uh, one of the project. We created some reports with the wizard. Uh, so this is wizard report training solution. I'm going to go to that solution and then uh, we have some RDL files uh, sitting there. Those are the reports. Uh, so it give us opportunity to use those RDLs. Uh, so once uh, we click the RDL, RDL is the report. Uh, so what it will give us. Uh, so let's uh, experiment. Uh, now if I will go ahead and say, okay, uh, let me use a uh, block subtitle sale report so i use uh, this rdl here let's open it now once you open it uh, it what it gives us it gives us a data sets uh, so if you have multiple data sets uh, you can select the data set uh, what you want so data set uh, is a uh, is a result set uh, that is returned by the query it can be a simple select query or a store procedure or come in uh, from the store procedure functions and um, select queries uh, so here it gives us uh, all those uh, data sets uh, and we can select the data sets so when we select the data set uh, we can import uh, so it does not uh, give us uh, all graphical things to import uh, so this is not the way you import your uh, report uh, in your solution i will show you how to add your report uh, to this solution uh, uh, but uh, that's a normal copy and paste and uh, diff uh, that part this one is the when you want to use uh, the data set uh, definition or query from another rdl so you can import by using this tab now you run this one everything is looking good all the results are coming fine we hit ok and then rest of the part is pretty easy we have a query string ready for us we hit next and we want to create tabular report so in this case let's say we want to just have a few few things here and there just couple I don't care I just want to create a one sample report to show you the report is working so we have a preview report finish my two cents on this uh, using the query builder it is uh, it does uh, give us uh, uh, options in this case let's say we don't want to open a report and uh, take a look on the data set so if you have a lot of reports uh, but you can import one of them and uh, you know uh, go ahead and uh, use the data set from there there are some other features maybe you would like to use it but uh, if uh, you are a report developer and uh, SQL developer especially you will be writing your uh, a lot of uh, T-SQL uh, queries in SSMS testing them out before you will even uh, go and create the report uh, but this is the existing feature that can be used for users so thanks very much for watching this video and our report is ready you can take a look this is how we will use the query builder in the report wizard and build our queries and generate reports from there thanks very much and i will see you in next video